sorry, y'all. Now I got the money. Hey, can y'all hear me all right? Let me make sure. I hope. My bad, y'all. I had an issue with the phone. Don't ask me what my phone is just stupid. ATT is the worst network ever. Though. Don't ever get her. For real. I'm just sick of her. What's up? What's up? What's up, brother? All right. So listen, my bad. We're back in business. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I get this phone number. Ain't no tea, girl. This is opinion, girl. This is opinion. Say no tea, girl. This is opinion, girl. Opinion and tea is two different things. I'm not spilling no tea on this one. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't. I look at somebody. I, I ask about the. I don't really don't. Like I don't pay attention to exes. Me personally, uh, I'm. I was leaving. I'm leaving them. I'm in the. I'm in the plane. Uh, me personally, I don't. I don't. To be honest with you. Like I look at a man with his exes. Like I ask about exes. But more so to find out who they was and stuff like that. More than I do what they did. To be honest. But I do what I do. So listen, check this out. When you elect me to, when you elect, you can't, like, I don't get mad when people talk about me personally, or talk about my personal public. Especially if I put the public stuff out. So when you put the public stuff, when you put the personal stuff out there in a public domain, it's up for public opinion. So no, nobody could tell her what to do. She could do what she want to do. But that don't mean that the public can't talk about it. The public can't talk about it because you put it out there publicly. Especially in a manner which you put it out publicly to make money off it. In the sense of making money off it, to in the sense that we did, that people buy the products. I have bought the products. My daughter Dino for her birthday wanted the products, and then my daughter bought her products. So at the end of the day, I have purchased the products. I'm entitled. You are too. Yeah, so you are too. So at the end of the day, we it's, it's up for public opinion. Do the public opinion should matter to her? Probably not. You can do what you do with it regardless. Nobody, I'm not saying nothing. We, I didn't, I didn't, we're not talking about it. We're just talking about what the book was talked about yesterday, which the public have a right to talk about. Like, if you're trying to say that people don't have the right to talk about it, you're crazy. People got a right to talk about it. That's dumb. Don't even make that thing. If not, you want us to have them. You, just like you have an opinion on what we should be talking about, we have an opinion on what we are seeing there. Now, when it comes down to what he did with his past lovers, I don't know. We're only talking about, I don't know. We can only talk about right now what we, information we have when it comes to reading. 
And when Regan has, when Regan says she into it, which I believe. Now, if I believe it, then I can have an opinion about it because I believe what she's saying. And so, like I said, strike one for me was when they, she talked about her getting physically abused by him so much so that she had to take a restraining order against him for her and her son. That's strike one. So what's up there, baby mama? Strike two for me was not taking care of your children. That's not good. Strike three for me, strike three for me is when you show that you have the ability to be a boyfriend and a father to these two kids, but not this one. That's strike three. When it looks like you making choices. I don't like that. I don't gotta sleep with him. Neither do none of us. Neither do nobody in here. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, bitch, we're gonna make our opinion about it because that's what the fuck we do. It's the internet, bitch. We all have an opinion. And let me say something. Let me say something about this internet. Everybody got an opinion. Who don't have an opinion on this internet? Judge a man by his exes. I don't think so. No, I don't think you judge by the exes. Do you judge a man by how he take care of his seed? I think you do. I think that's a fair assessment. I think that's a fair judgment. Um, I'm gonna show you an example when she gave that his first wife said, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna try to prepare this for you." That's how a woman's supposed to care. Carrying it. Listen, he won't be a husband of mine. He got to take care of his children. That's what the first wife did. The children, girl, Whitney who's to put it to y'all best, but she said she believed the children out of the future. See, so well, let them need to look. Let them need to look. Bitch, why, that's, we got to look at that. I don't think that's. I don't think that's an unfair assessment. When you say, okay, this is how this is how you treat your kids. Gonna stand up and say, listen, you wanna live with me, that's cool. You wanna do this with me, that's cool. I ain't got no problem. You wanna spend time with me, that's cool. I ain't got no problem with that. But do you spend time with your kids? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, if you are you not a woman, let me tell you something. I'm gonna just this is my opinion. And it's only my opinion. Again, this is just my opinion. It don't matter for nothing. It's just my opinion. Everybody got one. I got one, you got one, and it don't matter for nothing. And it's not bad talking or bad mouth to her. Or saying nothing against her. I don't have nothing to say about, about her except that she should have blamed this woman for the fucking bird page. <laughs> it just wasn't her. How about the bird page really be somebody? Now, you know me. I'm nosy. I'm messy, girl. I mean. So I went and looked it up and I know who behind the bird page. I really do. I know how I think behind the bird page. And I know the girl. Do I think? Do I know? Do I, do I, do I, I don't know if I believe her. I reached out to her to see. I follow. And I said, do you, do you want to blase blase? If she do, she, uh, she's welcome to come. If she don't, then, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's not real. Now, when I say that, I say that to only say this. Right? The perfect is super. Okay, probably so. Who the girl is shaking? I knew you was going to break this for the kids. Listen, I'm not putting the girl. She obviously made a burn page because she don't want to be put out there. But it's really not hard to figure out. <laughs> and I said who I think the bird page is because I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't think it's super right now, but it could be super too. Or it could have been super put up this because I don't think super was a 17 year old girl, but the, the woman who was with the hair stuff actually put super, I think, put her up to doing that so that they could get Lou and so she'd get Lou out of her picture and do a sale at the same time. Like kill two birds in one stone because she wanted to go be a, you know, she wanted to go, she wanted to go be on her ball and hope she did it. So accidents should be forgotten. What you mean accidents should be forgotten? What are you talking about? The, why is 
Regan, hold up. Regan have a right. Listen, after you not taking care of my motherfucking children and you run around here being boyfriend and daddy and you think I and you all on social media being cute and I don't have a right to tell my side and you not taking care of my child, how is Regan doing anything wrong? Let, uh, make me understand that. The fuck wrong with y'all? Y'all tripping. We not gonna talk about what they doing wrong? We not talking about what they doing wrong? The fuck you mean? She got a. I think she got. If she, I said, girl, if you not the bird page, you better make one, girl. <laughs> the fuck? I told her that. I said, but you better make one and go do your and, and do your fucking big one under all them posts. <laughs> fuck. She better go do your motherfucking big one under every. <laughs> She still didn't go in like she could have. Cause baby, you ain't lying. She didn't go in like she could have. And neither did I. That was really a good interview when I say it was good. Cause it didn't put it just put you in a truthful light and make us look at you like, okay, what kind of people you selected? Like you still ain't learned, girl, out of all them people. <laughs> it's the ex-wife brother in these comments condoning DB. Condoning DB daddy behavior for me. New child. Oh, okay. Well, people gonna do that. People do that shit. So, is there any truth to what the page is posting? That is the question. Is there any truth to what the page is posting? So, if we know who posted it, or we think we know who posted it, is there? In, that is the that is the question of the day. The interview is gonna be on the two. It's gonna be on YouTube very shortly. I definitely put the uh. I definitely put the link in the bio uh, when it when it comes out on YouTube. Uh, you know how when you post it to YouTube, it got with provision and all that information. But uh, I'm sorry, I believe everything Regan said. I don't think I think she has a right to tell her side of the story, especially when a narrative is being, is being painted about her. There's a narrative being painted about me, and I don't have a right to tell my side of the story. You got me fucked up, especially when you ain't did a motherfucking thing for my child. Girl, what? You lucky I ain't motherfucking. You lucky I ain't, you lucky I ain't, what's my YouTube page? MC Shaky. It's MC Shaky on YouTube. You don't follow me on YouTube, girl, you tripping. You tripping. Girl, I feel like, I, my, girl, you just heard my feeling. She said, and her. Oh, she in here? We can in here right now? Hold on, let me see. She showed the fuck in. I'm sorry. She was in here. I really did. I really didn't. Okay. It's not supposed to just know. Hey, what's hey, going on? Good morning, girl. How you doing? Oh, my God. Okay, so they have this one particular person, like she jumped from your page to my page and saying about this boy on the club. This child don't own no club. This child does not buy Club Bowl. Club Bowl is owned by a guy by the name of Lee Child. That club is owned by someone else. He is a party promoter. That club is being leased on particular days out of the week. Okay. It'll, like, let's be clear. Like, I don't understand why people think he owns that. This this boy don't own that. <laughs> I, I, you know, they paint narratives, so she didn't want people to think that she put in the bill for everything, so they're going to put it out there like he owns stuff. That's what he is a club promoter at the end of the day. He's a club promoter. Like, let's just be fine. So, right. whoever that is who keep on coming to me and coming and saying all of that, like, please stop. That narrative is painted, like you said, so that it can look like it's an equivalent pairing. It is not right. equivalent. So, understand that when I said that I'm not receiving my child support anymore because he quit his job, understand the depth of it. He quit his job to be a party promoter and a boy right. promoter. So was your child, I got a question. I forgot to answer something. Your child was getting medical care and you was getting child support when he had a verifiable job. So Correct. When he, started being a, when he started being a party promoter, you stopped getting the medical care for your child and you have to pay that out of pocket cost now. Exactly. Okay, so this is why this was an issue for me. What, what adults will understand and children won't. So when you file for child support, until that person has a suitable 
stable job, once they get that stable job, the parent, if they have any type of Medicaid, the child is taken off of Medicaid because the government doesn't want to pay it anymore because that parent has a job. So anytime he gets a stable job, my son has to be added to those health care benefits. So my child was added to his health care benefits. That's how that works. That's exactly and how that works. That's how that works. So when he quit his job, there was no notice to me of, hey, Regan, do you utilize the health care for him? Hey, Regan, does he have any medication that he uses with this health care insurance? Now, mm -hmm. I started making money in 2018, so I got a personal provider or personal insurance for my son and myself. However, mm -hmm. I can still utilize insurance as secondary. So when yeah, I bring him to the dentist, whatever copay I apply to the secondary, then I pay that out-of-pocket cost thereafter. Right, so exactly there was no call to me stating, hey, Regan, you know, Go bring him to the doctor. Go do what you can, whatever, whatever. Use up these benefits because they're going to be ending soon. There mm -hmm. was none of that. It was just a, oh, by the way, I quit my job and there will be no more health care benefits. And that was just it. And that was through text, not call, but text. Not only that, but that was in March. In April, I received another text message stating I will not be paying a child support bi-weekly like I once did when I had a job because when he has a job it comes out of the right. like clockwork he's saying that I no longer work for this company so you won't be receiving a child support anymore so I will be paying you either every six months at one time or I will be paying you in full once a year so this means that basically six months to twelve months is going to pass by with no pay until he goes and posts that statement. Oh, girl. So, so people need to understand that this call was made to me the day before the engagement happened. Okay, so everybody keeps talking about it's a ring that is bothering me. It's not a ring that has ever bothered me. It's never been about before. a ring. Because he's been married before. Right. He was married before, and when he was married before, he was married for five years, and you heard me say nothing negative about the wife. I said, right. if anything, that made him a better man. So if I was going to be bitter, I would have been bitter for all 15 years. Right. So I have not ever been bitter about anything. All I've ever done was handle my business, because that's what I had to do. There ain't no excuse for no man not taking care of their child. We're going to stop excusing that. And then I want them to pay attention to this. I want them to pay attention to his last post. His last post on his page states that he took two months' time to put together the perfect proposal for her. To put together a picture collage of their year together. Keep in mind, he has not seen his son physically since April of last year. Right. You got time to so put that perfect. means that he put uh, two months into proposing to a woman, and then he was able to show photos of every step of the way throughout this full year. And within this full year's time, he has not physically seen his son. Right. So you got to hold people accountable for their wrongs. It's very you know, small-minded to... To think that a person would be that intimidated by a ring. I can go purchase a ring, but instead I purchased myself and my son a house. I could buy a ring for myself if I wanted to. That's finance. That's finance. I can go finance myself a ring and make monthly payments if I wanted to. But I'd rather go get a house and make payments on that. The mortgage, baby. Ownership. Equity. Mortgage. Equity. Ownership. Right. What? So, so why? we got to we got to be adults about it. <laughs> that's all that, that that's all I'm saying like let's get out of the and as far as my timing is concerned I'm definitely going to be very vocal about it and I've always been very vocal about it. It's just that now people know who the person is that I've been talking about.
It's your son. You have a right to be vocal. Even if you want to be mad, you have a right to be mad. But you're not mad. You just want what's right for your son. And I respect the hell out of you for that because I'd have been doing worse than you. I'd have had burn pages. I'd have had bets. I'd have been, I'd have been all on the, I would have been working this motherfucking internet for real. See, that you you better than me. Because ain't no way. You go, you go motherfucking being a motherfucking, you going to be all picture perfect two months, this and that and other. And my child ain't motherfucking got nothing. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. You didn't see my child in the year, but you making a picture perfect wedding. You got me fucked up. I'm, I'm and then it was shot. brought to my attention that somebody said that he was talking to or his relationship with her children. And I'm watching a video of him presenting gifts on Christmas to her children as well as his. And like I said last night, and I said again, my son has not received even a Christmas gift from this man since 2018. So let's be clear. You have to hold people accountable for their wrongs. And I'm not saying that anybody is going to be perfect. Right. But to lack on your child for 15 years and have so much energy to give to another and their children. It's deplorable. It, it's it's deplorable. insane. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to hold him accountable for that. Come on. And the people that's just seconding what they what these people what that's doing is really in fucking saying. Ain't no fucking excuse for that. Fuck all that. It's no excuse. I I I'm you know yesterday I was trying to be professional, but at the end of the motherfucking day, fuck that shit. If that motherfucker dead be here, fucking dead be. It is what it is. And no matter who the fuck he marry, he could be marrying motherfucking uh he could be marrying Madonna, he could be marrying motherfucking uh Christina Aguilar. I wouldn't give a fuck. He ain't no mother, he could be marrying motherfucking me alone for all the fuck I care. If he's a deadbeat, a motherfucking deadbeat. Let's call him. You call him. I'm fat. You gonna call him. I'm fat. You can't call me nothing else, bitch. I am fat, bitch. You can't say I'm plump, bitch, and just be cute about it, bitch. You a deadbeat. You not taking care of your children. It is what it is. And, I, and I definitely did hold back a lot because I know. understand this, and this is one thing I didn't say last night. We're talking about a man. Keep in mind, like I kept telling you, my mama has helped me with my son. My mother has helped me with my son. This is the same man. My mama thought she was doing the right thing. She invited him and his wife over to her house so that maybe they could talk through things to figure out, like, how we going to get you to be more active? I'm at work. I didn't know this was going on. Mm -hmm. This boy got so frustrated with my mama calling him out on that that he tried to physically assault my mother. He was chest to chest with my mother. What's your mom? And his wife called and his wife called me and apologized on his behalf. And I told her then, I said, look, you shouldn't be calling me apologizing to me. Call my mom and apologize to her because she could have easily called the police because this happened within her living room. And she didn't even do that. So this is this this is all I'm saying is you have to pay attention to what people do because if they don't do it right then and there, they'll definitely do it at some point in time because that's who they really are. And my mother actually called me this morning and she said, Regan, honestly, I feel sorry for him. She said, I feel sorry for the young man because I honestly feel like he's getting exposed to a world that he has not seen before. He's being exposed to a new world and new things. And she says she feels like he sold out on himself for these material things. And she says she just feels sorry for him as a person. So understand that we, me, my mom, on my side, like, you know, we, we're not, we don't hate them. We don't hate them. We honestly are praying for them. Right. Never said it. You know what I'm saying? And these are people that we have known since I was 17, 16, 17. So understand that I've been a mother since 17. I'll be 34 this year. I've been a mother for half of my life. I've been knowing him and his family for half of my life. Right. And speaking about this. Nothing really but super did insert herself when she accused this young lady right here of being behind some burn page that's trolling her and trolling, her, and trolling him. She accused this young lady and painted the narrative of this young lady being a bitter baby mama based on some burn page trolling her. That had, this little young lady has nothing to do with. That's the that's when she so that's what they have to do with her since y'all must know. Y'all like to make excuses for people all the time. 
he a deity. She and she have never said nothing against this woman. She have never said nothing against this woman or nothing against this woman in their relationship. This woman inserted her in this one in this when she said, "Okay, I don't know who behind this birthday is probably his baby mama." And that and somebody said, "Keep my son away from him." Let me tell you something. At no time did I ever say that I wanted to force him to be anything that he doesn't want to be. I said that my son found peace. And I'm saying that I have to find peace and I have found peace. If I didn't find peace and if my son didn't find peace, then we wouldn't be as blessed as we are. We are very blessed. And we live in love. We don't live in hate. So that's why, even with the page situation, I would never in my life take the time to do something like that. If that was the case, then, I mean, that would be my M.O., huh? I would have did it for the first man. Definitely. You would be, I mean, it would be, this is not your M.O. Though. This ain't, I don't, I don't find, after listening to you yesterday and listening to you, like I said earlier on the live, I said, I've done a lot of interviews and my senior is a blogger, and I have some people you believe in, some people you don't. I let the public decide what they want to do. But in your case, I kind of, I just believe you totally. I don't think you missed anything. Anything I think you held back. That's what I feel like. And so at the end of the day, I don't think you living outside of your truth. I think they're living in a falsity of this perfect Prince Charming. He do the right. That's not the, that's just not the case. But people go put what they want on social media. You have a right. There's no question about it. That a right to defend the fact that your son deserved better from his father. You have a right to that, and oh, nobody can take that. Away. And nobody can take that from you. And I hate the fact that you was even inserted in it when it comes to some foolish internet ass shit. When it comes down to some fucking burn page and trolling. At the end of the day, you have a all you asking for is the, you not you don't have to the fact that you even have to clear your name about this. The fact that you have to actually come and tell your story and be and, and, and be here telling your side. It's, it's too fucking much. That's them put you in that position. And, for my, and for my son's father to send, okay, the last time that my son's father reached out to my son was March. He reached out to my son last week. And this is only because of this pressure that has been created through social media. Mm -hmm. So where he sends him a message saying he would not disrespect my son and he would not disrespect me and he loves him. And my son responded with I love you too and God bless you. Mm -hmm. That's what my son said back to him. And I'm saying that to say for one sad that the media had to pressure you to reach out to your son. For one. That's sad. That's very funny. And for two, I will say, you're saying that you won't disrespect my son and you won't disrespect me. You've already disrespected us through your absence, through not being active, through not being there, through creating bonds with other people, children have a child out here, through coming to Atlanta five to six times and never reach out. And someone said, hey, why, why was she expect him to reach out if they had him back. Baby, let me tell you something. If I'm trying to reach shake and shake it, I don't even know you. I got to you, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I reached out and I used every every resource I had possible that no shake it. And I got to shake it to the point we are on here right now, right? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing or nobody can stop getting to the person that want to get Nothing. Especially your child. Especially child. Ain't nothing for the stop me from you got the you got the you got the it, you, it got, you got to restrain me from trying to talk to my child. But let me like, also say this. My mother when Ida hit, my mother mm -hmm. lived in Laplace, down the street mm -hmm. from him and his family. With mm -hmm. all this going on, my mother drove back there after Ida three times and went and checked on his family. Three times to where they could have been like, hey, we didn't talk to Jaden. Hey, can you know, can you put us in contact? That was never the conversation. It was, 
you know how y'all doing? Are y'all okay? Nobody asked about my son. That was even a moment right there where they could have made that happen. Hey, can, can you have Jake to contact us? The mama, his mama damn show was not never black. So these are too many ways that you could have got in contact with your son. He didn't want to. That's Hold so him accountable. Your, your son sounds so mature. This young man sounds like he got his head on his shoulder. For real. And I, I'm sorry. I just I just hate that he having to go through this. I'm hating that he having to the witness this and, and see that this man look and appears to be loving not only his other children but other people's children more than him. That's something that got to be hurtful to him. You mentioned yesterday that you put your child that you had actually put him in counseling. Are y'all still going to counseling? Or is that something that y'all might explore with this going on? Okay. I believe we have gone to counseling so much. Mm -hmm. We had to do counseling three times um, for three different events that have happened because of that, that situation. Mm -hmm. In which we got into a point to where my son is so strong. Mm -hmm. Like, he will sit down here if it's a hard time. I'll be like, where you went? Where you was at? He said, well, I went to the to my room and I went and, and prayed. My son is heavily in God. And that's only because of the teachings of me, of my mom. Mm -hmm. So he has a strong relationship with God to where that's, that's what he had with it. My son, he prays about it. After he prays about it, we talk about it. So now we able to even uplift and and pray with each other. Mm -hmm. And that's the household that, that we are. That that's what we do here. No, I, and, and, and and I find that so admirable. I really do. Let me ask you something. Okay, cause if he quit his job, cause sister, you might be getting some of this cray cray all the money, girl. I don't know. But <laughs> for your son. But let me ask you something, because this is, I, you, know, I, you know me, I do a little research, I do a little looking up stuff here and there. Because uh, he had a PPP loan, but the address that he used for his PPP loan was... Was her, 100 commercial. I already I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I already looked it up. Oh, child, let's get into it then. Uh, <laughs> he got a PPP <laughs> loan. Let's just get into it then. He got a PPP loan that went to her warehouse. Is he? Do you think he's getting tied in or is she giving him a piece of the Crayola stuff or, or anything? Have you heard anything like that? That where maybe you could get some type of something, oops. <laughs> and go get any type of, uh, kick that person, y'all. Whoever that stuff, no, hold on. You got to go. Talk about mm -hmm. stalking. Child, please. Yeah, she got to go. Get them out of here. Let me tell you something. I'm, oh, let me tell you something. I'm let me tell you something too. You know the the child credit, that child credit for for income tax. You know when everybody was getting that credit for their their children mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. Corona. Right. He received Not, all that. Girl, what? Not he time. received that. Oh, oh, wow. That's he received that. I didn't get that not one time. So he didn't get. So did he give anything from the PPP loan or anything? Anything. So there was nothing. My son didn't get nothing extra past the child support. In which, thinking about it now, since he got the child credit, technically that was like that going from the government to child support. Because I didn't oh, get girl. that. Oh, how deep this rabbit hole go, girl. Girl, I, you know what? I'll put, I'll put, girl, I swear, I'll put some stuff. You, I'll be like, bitch, you got that Creole money, cause that's what the fuck your business loan going to. So you must have some type of business associated with this Creole shit. And I want my Crayola, bitch. My child like Crayola. Let me get a, a few of them colors. Let me get a purple and a blue, bitch. Let me get a yellow and a green or something. I'll just, since you were talking about this Creole shit, girl, I would do that. It would be no see no shame because you have some tie that he has some type of business or some type of income. Or some type of something based on the PPP loan. This is public information for that one. But you know, it is what it is. It is girl, what it is. Than, you better than me, because bitch, I would have been doing the most, girl. I would have been girl, I would not be so nice. 
I would not be so kind. I would be up, I would be running around here like a chicken with their head cut off doing the most about mine. But I feel like you see you feel like you feel like you've been I know what it is. For the for the last 15 so I years, you've been so independent, you just never had him to rely on. So you don't know what it is to have a a, a baby and that's your only child. So you don't know what it is to have a baby dad and do the right thing. You don't know how that feels. There you so go. You just, so and you, as far as the people asking about him filing, when you file for this is another thing if y'all didn't know. But if you file for visitation, then the court is under the impression that the visitation is going to be followed as ordered. So with that being said, then you have to uh, come to an agreement with filing the child on the tax. So mm -hmm. you have to share that with the other parent. So okay. you file every other year. The, it goes back and forth year to year. So that's how he was able to get that credit because technically he was supposed to have his son just that much to where it would have been rightfully spoken. But we went to court for visitation for no apparent reason at all. Really just to appease his wife because that's who, you know, helped him to pursue that. What? So do you think Super going to reach out to you woman to woman and say, listen, I'm going to try to as did his new wife forge a relationship, as if the last wife did, kind of forge a relationship between him and his child? Do you think that's going to ever happen? Or are you looking forward to that to happen? Or do you believe that this is just going to be what you're going to get throughout the relationship because with the whole internet and her accusing you on live in front of thousands and thousands of people? She had 2,000 some people in that live when she said, oh, it's the baby mama. She a bit of baby mama. When she said that in the comments, electrified who the baby mama is who the baby mama is and started posting your name i'm sure some people sent you the live i've seen it i a didn't people... see it oh you didn't see it oh girl i'm gonna have to send it to you girl i saw it they sent it I to didn't me see it. <laughs> they sent it to me i wasn't in the live they sent it to me because if that's the case that's a suit that that's a suit honestly because that she, she didn't she didn't say your name but she okay. said it's the baby okay. she said the baby the people in the comments was posting your name. She didn't oh, say wow. it. Well, I didn't lie on her. She didn't say it, but the people in the comments was supposed to your, your Instagram. Okay, see, I didn't I didn't know that. I just didn't know that this is how much I'm in tune with this. <laughs> I'm in tune I didn't, with and as far as us ever having a conversation, like I said, when before I initiated creating that group text between he, my son, and myself, I told him that he before I was ever to send my son with him. Mm -hmm. At that time, he was already public with her. Right. So he could have, you know, come to that meeting and also introduced her, asked me if I didn't mind him bringing her so that that could have been a proper introduction. So that time has now came and went. There was one time when I FaceTimed because I told him I would like for him to speak to my son about supporting a passive wallet, keeping an ID, a credit card, debit card, and at least a cash on you at all times because my son about to start driving. And I also asked him to have a conversation with him as a young man on what to do if God forbid he stop you. This was a FaceTime conversation that was a time where he could properly introduce everyone. So it's been times when this could have happened and it did not. So if it will come any time after that, it would just not be real to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and more so, even though that it's about to be his wife, it's so much damage him and his son before me, before anyone. I need him and his son to connect before anybody. So I'm not interested in having a conversation with anyone. I would rather these two have a conversation. Because that's what's that's what's important. When 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 all this hit all the blogs and stuff like that, what was your son reaction? What was his reaction? Did he say when he see his when I know he don't have an Instagram, but I'm sure people are gonna I, I'm sure people talk about it. I'm sure he knows something going on. 
on social media and stuff like that. Is he aware of that, or did he ever have a conversation with his son about the, the, the social media aspect about it? He did. He did. Oh. He he did. In which I told him, okay, let's have a conversation. Like, let's talk about this. Because me and my son, we talk about a lot. Because I want him to always have a voice. I want him to always be vocal about whatever it is that he feels. So I asked him how he felt mm -hmm. about it. And he was like, Mom, to be honest, it's none of my business. You know, at this point, I just feel like I'm going to love the people that show love. And that was, he, he just wasn't bothered with it. Why wait until the man get married? Why wait until the man get married? He's been married before. It's been married now. He, I, 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 just knowing her, I can just only see how this could be. <sighs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, every, all these fake pages pouring in, like, asking these questions, like, come on. Like, <laughs> this has been a topic since 07. My son has been here since 07. Has been a conversation since 07. This is nothing new just because a person has appeared. It's just bigger news because of the person society. That's the honor. That's the that's the honor. I'm I'm really sorry that the narrative get painted about people trying to get what's rightfully theirs for their kids. And I you know and, and so you know, I feel like that people like you who are doing what you can, you like you doing everything that you can and everything that you possibly can to make this situation a, a situation that is amicable for you, him, and, and your son. And the only person right now that's really have a right to say anything, the only real victim in this situation is, when it comes out to it, is your son, because he's missing out on a father because this man don't want to be one. Like, at the end of the day, so I don't know how people could blame you for anything. You're doing only, are you trying to get your, you're trying to make, you got to teach your your baby daddy how to be a, a baby daddy. Okay, I, I want people to understand this as well. Understand this. My social media presence has been here since 2018. I've had a fan base since 2018. I have said my story over and over since 2018. I have my own fan base of people who love to know who I am outside of social media. And which when I talk mm -hmm. about who I am, I talk about my history. I talk about what made me to be this person that I am today. That is a part of my story. I have every right to speak on my story and wear my jacket to the fullest. And this is not to bash anyone. This is not. This is just my story, and he happens to be a character in a chapter, or two, or three, or four, or 15, <laughs> in my story. Okay. I have every right to say what's going on with me. I have every right to do that. And I have every right to speak up because my son is age. So I'm going to speak up for him. I'm his representative. So I'm right. going to say something. Why would I not say nothing? I would feel like I would be failing my son if I didn't say something. You did, definitely. I would agree with that. If you don't speak out about it, you're failing your son. If you don't speak out about what's not happening for you and your child, what's, what's right for the do, you, you, you do yourself a disservice, you do him a disservice, and he don't deserve that. You don't deserve that, to be honest with you. You know? And so... Girl, I don't say I don't find nothing wrong with what you're saying or what you're doing. I don't find nothing wrong in uh, how you explain your story. You broke it down to the lowest terms, and if some and if somebody have an issue with that, they're insane. I really believe that that's just insane. You're insane if you can't see that. Like, it's nothing else about this that needs to be spent on no, nothing and, else about and this. And I need people sense. to understand this as well. Who really is like the the culprit here? Because, like you say, I was brought into this. If my name was brought up, if my name was brought up, 
Y'all asking why am I saying something now that a ring is present? Why is my name brought up on that side? Because a ring is present. So, so who, who, who brought who up? Who, 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 who is the person? Like, come on, like, let's be clear. You definitely didn't. Because I definitely yeah. never said anything about her before or after a ring. I never said anything. But my name is being brought up after her ring. I got brought up. So <laughs> I got every right to defend myself. Because if I let somebody slide for saying something about me and saying something about my character, then y'all gonna run with it. They oh they ran with it. Ain't no gonna run with it. They ran with it. So I got the right to say something. They still running with it now. They don't. But they I, for some like this is the narrative. They feel like if somebody says it, if 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 she said it, oh yeah, she behind the bird, she better. She ain't got she 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 want she man comes to the ring. This is the narrative that they're running with. This is when I first heard this story. When I first heard what was going on, it came to me as that maybe the baby mama is trolling stupid. I said, well, man, what? What you talking about? Talking about Regan, the girl. The girl, you know the girl. I'm like, oh, girl, I know you lying. Yeah, she trolling too. But so I, I, that's how I even looked at it at first. When I come to find out it wasn't you, it was like, oh, no, that's not this girl. And then let's think about it. And let's really think about it. Like I told you before, she came and followed me. In 2019, she came and followed me. Right. Now my name got and being accused of a piece. So this one time with following, I, I don't say anything. Honestly, she could have presented herself then. Honestly. You know what I'm saying? Or he could have whatever. But 2019, I got and then a little bit after that, they are presented, right? Mm -hmm. And then my name is brought up as being accused or something. It seemed like, it's like you want me to address you, but I don't have anything to say to you, and it's nothing per se. It's bigger than that for me. I have a son who figure out why my like what's going on with my daddy. So that's that's my turn is so that my my son and his dad can heal. All that other shit is that other shit. I'm not about to get dragged. Any kind of confusion because I don't live like that. I don't live like that. And I'm not going to start because he decides to date. And he can step up to that because there's a whole lot of things that I do so that he won't get caught up in a system. The only reason why I put out support is because I'll be fucked if I'm trying to buy for some dollars. I'm going to go to legal and we're going to get the as far as visitation, I told him to go to the court. We got the visitation, good, legal. So we got organizations that we don't have to deal with the messed up, that's a confused way. So I'm not about to be dragged with this foolishness. Like, you got to stop. It's not, it's not about him. It's about my son. Because children grow up damaged. Mm -hmm. Children grow up not understanding why and he deserves to have his father. His father don't want to be that kind, but my father's children is a gift. So to make it about when it's about how that's involved. That's pretty. Definitely. Girl, you ain't doing. Girl, you ain't do, You ain't did nothing wrong. You ain't doing nothing wrong. If anything you're doing wrong, you ain't doing enough. If you ask me, I think it's your wedding. So I'm wedding. Girl, you do better than me. I swear to God. And I hate to see you going through this shit. I'm trying to get a man to be a goddamn daddy and have to deal with all this dumb ass shit with these motherfucking people. Spend a narrative about you and your life and what you been through. But with that being said, I'm at my place. Of where I'm, where I'm at my location. We was just running there about the situation. You definitely, you definitely have a friend over here. As far as if you need to just add out, talk about anything, or just, or just talk. You know, you know my number. It's definitely 
up there with me when it comes to that. You could talk, like, for real. And it's not even about no social media stuff because I just hate what you're going through. And I just hate that. Like, I really do. And it's just from a personal perspective. You know what I'm saying? We just was talking. We was just run, running the thing. I was giving my little opinion about it. I don't think you wrong. I don't think you lying. And at the end of the day, I think you deserve better. I think you deserve a fair, a, a fair viewpoint when it comes to how the internet is spinning your narrative. And I, I think you, and that's just, that's just what it is at the end of the day. So, it is nothing you did wrong. Best day you want to enjoy your day. Yes. Thank you, so much. Thank you so much, baby. Appreciate you for coming. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.